Today we're going to have a look at how to make customized fills. In our options, element attributes, fill types, we see that our fills are broken up into solid fills, vectorial fills, symbol fills, and the one that's not shown here is a 3D fill or a picture fill. What we're going to work on is, it doesn't matter too much exactly what we call it, but either a vectorial or a, a symbol fill. If we take one of these fills, to create a new fill we have to duplicate one. So we're going to choose one that's simple and then go from there. So let's choose, uh, at the moment, RMD brick 5. I'm just going to increase the scale. take that up to a thousand <laughs> right so we can start to see the pattern that we're getting now we create this pattern with an angle and with a spacing and that's all the information that we have. We create symbol fills by placing a picture. As you notice that this one's got copy and paste and again I'll increase the size of this so we can see it. So let's change it up to 300. We can see a pattern. The other really beneficial part of this is that we see this little yellow pattern. When we're talking about any type of fill, uh, but a brick is a good example, what we're interested in is the ability to create a small pattern which is repeatable. And whatever that pattern is, it will repeat multiplied or multiple times perfectly or imperfectly depending on how well we make it. So we're going to use this as our example, os brick detail, and I'm going to represent this fill or draw this fill Let's do this. And that should work, but clearly it hasn't. Where are you? There we go. No, it's not it. <coughs> Too many of these is making life hard. We use e brick instead. This bit smaller, one meter. By one meter. Right. So we see this is our fill, and the fill is one complete pattern. Currently, we can't select or edit the, any of these lines. But if I was to measure it as, as best as I could, so I'll use a different color to get trace over, we'd see that this brick is roughly right, 230 by 76 and between joints 86. So this is this brick is perfect. It's very, very clean. What I want to do is make a brick that's not quite so perfect. We're going to make an imperfect brick. So let's suggest, for instance, we're trying to make one that represents um, a recycled brick and it's not quite as, as um, dimensionally accurate. So again, I'm going to use a different color just to measure this. And I'm going to draw some shapes using the lines, but I'm just not going to be as careful in this instance. I'm trying to make 
the brick have slightly rounded edges and again not just not be exactly how it should look. All right. Now I need to do a few bricks and I'll explain why later, but I'll just keep drawing for a minute. Start by rounding off these edges. Okay, and one more. move this one back. I don't actually want that necessarily here. Let's just cut out that edge. Now in order to create a custom fill, what you need to have is an area that is repeatable. You can describe this in a lot of ways, but the way that I like describing is, uh, maybe on if you ever had an old Nokia phone, you might have had a game called Snake. And the way that Snake worked is it repeated a pattern by the snake could disappear out one side of the screen and come back through the other and wherever the snake disappeared it, it it reappeared on the equal opposite side of the screen now creating a, a pattern in archicad is exactly the same process whatever happens here needs to be repeatable here whatever happens here need, needs to be repeatable here so we need to make a pattern as big or as small as possible so we could double the size of the pattern so that whatever's happening in the overall pattern again is the same from one point to another. If I have this currently and I repeated this pattern I'd have a full brick and then above that would be another full brick so that's not right. So I could make that bigger and including my mortar joint because I haven't included my mortar joint up here. So that would work. So here I've got a full brick, a full brick, but again I haven't got the mortar joint so I'd need to add the mortar joint. So let's just keep checking this. Full brick, mortar joint, full brick, mortar joint, and then it will repeat, repeat with a full brick. Great. Half brick, full brick, half brick plus the mortar joint extra again. Perfect. Great. Now what happens up here? Full brick, Above that will be mortar and then half brick. Okay, great. So this is now a fully repeatable pattern. But it's a lot bigger than we need it to be. I could do the same thing, so I'm going to duplicate and redraw this. Now let's try this with just one brick. It's not perfect, but it's close enough for now. So let's see how this one works. Here I have one full brick and a mortar joint, and I have two half bricks. Now if I was to take this up above, what would I have? I'd have a mortar joint, half a mortar joint, and then half a brick, which is what I have. Let's go down. Below this one, I should have a full brick. So great, so I've taken this exact same fill pattern and just divided it in half. Okay, that's, that's good. Well, we could actually probably go even further if I wanted to. I could take Half of this, no, that's getting a bit crazy. So we can make the pattern as big or as small as we 
we possibly can. There is a benefit, however, to making it bigger or making it smaller. If I make it smaller, the lines that we see here are going to be duplicated. If I make it bigger, the lines we see here are going to be duplicated. I just said the same thing, except these lines are all geometrically identical. However, these lines over here are not geometrically identical. Identical. So if I have random shapes and I want to embrace that randomness, I need to have a larger sample size because if my sample size is too small, I'll lose that random replacing. So based on this idea, let's copy this sample. And now I'm just going to fill out the rest of this shape with the lines that I require in order to make, uh, I better actually keep to the line here, otherwise I'm going to get myself in trouble, in order to make this imperfect. Because it still needs to line up on the edge. Nearly there. So again, I'm going to a bit extra work, more work than I would need to if this was a geometrically perfect pattern, but just because I'm trying to, in this instance, make something that's not quite so perfect, I'm just going to a bit of extra work, and hopefully that pays off. Of course, I could copy-paste something, but by copy-pasting, I'm essentially removing the point of what I'm doing. Because I'm after that imperfection. I need to get this perfectly lined up this time. So mortar to mortar. Okay, now I've got all of the lines that I should be able to see. They'll all repeat really nicely, but once I've deleted my fill, deleted the other patterns, if I was to delete this fill as well, where would I know where it starts and stops? I'm missing something. What we have in Archicad, uh, down the bottom of more, is a hotspot. I can add a hotspot to the corners of this fill box. And the hotspot allows me to create a point, a node, a start point, an end point, which does not actually represent as a picture. It represents only as a vectorial um, point for remembrance. It doesn't show up. So I've got the lines of the brick, which will show, and then I've got the hotspots. I'm going to copy all of this, edit, copy, I'm going to go back into my fills, I'm going to find one of those fills, it doesn't really matter which one I use, but I'm going to use one that's already brick, I'm going to choose ebrick because I couldn't find the osbrick detail, ebrick, I'm going to say new, and I want to duplicate this brick, and I'm going to replace this as E brick. Let's make a capitals. Recycle. OK. And then I'm going to paste the pattern in here. Looks like I might have missed something there. What did I miss? I missed my full brick. 
often it's very hard to know if we've done something perfect until we try. I'm just going to press OK even though I see it's wrong. And now I'm going to get my fill tool. Select the fill that I'm after. E-brick recycled and I'm just going to draw a, a shape, draw a box. The bigger the, the pattern is, the, the more that you'll see when you've done something wrong. So that's mostly pretty good. It's it's an imperfect brick. We see every now and then it's missing this endpoint because I forgot to put that line in. So I need to go back. Thankfully, I can do this without too much hassle and re-add or add that line in, which is this one here, so that my brick is closed. Like select that again, edit, copy, options, fill, fill types, recycled brick, and then I'm just going to paste over the top and we see that that's now fixed up. I'm going to draw that fill one more time, and we now see that fill is complete. And that is how you make a customized fill. Of course, the color is just now dependent on what I choose and I could even go in and change the scale but of course with a brick the intention is that that brick is geometrically accurate and its overall repeatable size is accurate for bricks but now we have something that's a little bit more customized a little bit more quirky um, showing that our bricks might be recycled.